All right, we're back. So let's continue. We have the switching pages. Uh, now let's make it more beautiful. So the next page is somewhere here, and the previous page is somewhere here, and between it shows the page number. All right, so uh, we must make a table for this. Uh, let's just make a table. Hit go. Uh, remember, our content table is 95%, so we must make it the same. I just copy it actually, so no, no, no problems with that. Uh, all right. What I do n lately, lately is I just create new echoes, so it would be easier for me to find the tags, not look in one big, but just separated them. So like this. So this is the table beginning, and as you remember, I need to make the columns, new columns. Um, so what we must do is just echo, make column, td, so, and close td, this will be the previous arrow, I just copy it. Uh, here will really show the page number, and here will be the next arrow. So, great. Ta. We need to set the divide. This is 25%. Uh, divide of this, let's set it with 25%. And of this 25%. And this 45%. So the page will be at the center because it, I oh know, it's 50%. Yeah, 45. Uh, sorry. Uh, Alright. So now what I will do is close this echo out, then echo again, and between if there is a previous page, then it will echo the previous page. And the same with the next page. I just cop oh I, I should I should cut it out. I mean no doubles needed. And the next page this what I do is just it breaks the echo code and between if there is this r result he will echo the next page in any case it will it will be left blank so that's no problem because we have our table all right so in between must we must show the page number uh, how to get a page number first we must write page in my case it's not in my language it's lap lapa that means page but you should not learn this language because only two million people we have in our country. All right, so this is page. So now what we must do, we must count which page this is. So we must get the start number. This one. And we just calculate page and and R equals start number divided by limit limit so if it's zero it will be zero and plus one so if it's zero it's the first page uh, if this will not complete it will show plus one in any case so it, page number will be one if the if there's if the limit increases by I mean if I want to increase limit to 24 again uh, the start number will be zero divided by 24 zero plus one it will be the first page if the if it will be the second page it will be 24 divided by 24 plus 1 it will be the next page it will be the second page so i just go this and echo it out here so and that's very easy you must programming is very easy it's like piece of cake all right so the problem is it's very on the left side because i didn't center them so i must center them also do you mean center so what it does just Sets a divide. Divide. Uh, I will not put it here in the link. I'll put it here and just write. And you, uh, I forgot to put it in the in the next page. All right. So div div tag div. Great. Are you following me? This is great. Something is wrong. This is wrong. Ali Gn Aling Dign. So my grammar is very bad. My grammar is very bad. I'm not an English person, so my grammar is very bad. Alright. This is great. So 
Many people use great pictures, but I will not use great pictures. I want to make it also at the end of the, the table. So this is even more simpler. You just copy the table and put it on the bottom. Right. Great. So next, previous, next, previous, next, previous. I must check how much time I have left. All right, five minutes. Now we have our script, but it's very tight because uh, there's only one line here. If I have 24 rows, uh, which I want to make now, set it just the limit set to 24. Uh, I should maybe set the columns to six, but I don't know how much how large pictures I will put in, so that will. Alright, so we have 24, we have only 8 records here, and then, 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 so it doesn't show any, any different, no, it doesn't show previous or next, in any case. So now what we must do, we should make an image upload script, uh, so it uploads image and sets in, in the template, uh, but... I, d I didn't wrote that script, I just downloaded it on the internet. I suggest you use the, you do the same, it's very easy to just download the scripts on the internet. Uh, I have to copy the script from my other folder, which I will do, and then I will edit it, and then I show you the code. I will think I will paste uh, links to download it or screenshots of the code, you just copy it. Maybe I will just uh, insert the link in the description file. Uh, because it's very large, you I will make uh, I will make three image sizes: it's small image, it's mutant image, and it's original image. Uh, and then, 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 this will be the image source link. So, uh, yes, I will I will do it on next tutorial. So keep watching me on the next tutorial, and see you then. Bye.